Family members say Catherine Hickman and her son Dirk lived at this house for much of the 96 years she was on this earth. They are utterly devastated. She died the way she did. Into her 90s, Catherine Hickman, loved ones say, lived a life full of joy. Her mobility in recent years uh, hasn't been what it was, but she was still determined to have as much independence as she could. And so many were hopeful when a fire broke out at Catherine's house early Friday morning. I'm just thinking, I hope Granny's house is salvageable, or, or if not, where can we move her to? However, the fire was bigger than they thought. The first wave of firefighters pulling up could see flames shooting out of a second floor bedroom. Once inside, we've got uh, one civilian we're pulling out of uh, the basement, still uh, searching for the second. The thick, acrid smoke was too much. Catherine died at the hospital. Her 56 year old son, Dirk, was pronounced dead at the scene. That's not the way anybody should go out at any circumstances by any means. So to hear that and, and to hear the reason why, it's pretty crushing to say the least, man. Relatives describe Dirk as the go to guy whenever you needed a handyman. Catherine was the glue of this family. She set the principle, she set the standard for her kids, her grandkids to live the life you want to live, live how you want to live it. Don't, nobody, don't let nobody tell you how you should live your life. It's your life. And um, she was a living testament to that. A two-time breast cancer survivor and Ford retiree, Catherine devoted much of her time to the St. Matthews and St. Joseph Episcopal Church on Woodward. I'll just miss getting together with her, talking with her, having lunch with her, traveling with her. Those are the things that will, you know, remain close to my heart. Now, investigators are looking into the cause of the fire and whether there were working smoke detectors inside the home. Reporting on Detroit's east side, Anders Gutierrez, CBS News, Detroit.